Hi everyone, um, I've just received this um, and I really I was just going to open it to be honest and then I thought I may as well just share this and um, let uh, everyone, um, you know I was going to say let everyone enjoy what's, what's in here but I've ordered things on the internet before and plants can be a little bit tricky um, so you, you don't know what you're going to get um, I've ordered some terrible things so I'm, I'm hoping that this one is a little bit better so I'm going to just get it open first and um, so if you can bear with me and you'll we'll see what the packaging is like as well because that's been a bit uh, a bit shady in the past so um, yeah leave me to it let me just uh, let me just get it all opened up and then uh, I'll talk you through what's uh, what we've got I promise you it is uh, it is a plant it looks like an absolutely massive firework or something but uh, Now, um, I'm not quite there yet. There's a lot of packaging on this, um, which actually is, is good news because uh, some of them, some of the packaging can be quite flimsy. So um, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Let's, um, let's get the other one opened. Now I've got to say, the packaging on these was absolutely fantastic. They've got them in these tubes that are really quite firm, so the plant isn't going to get too damaged. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very pleased with this. Um, now what we've got here is uh, a Japanese maple with um, a variegated leaf. So uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, but it will be up on the screen in a second. Um, but Aishe is primarily a male name of a Japanese origin that means morning or sunlight. In terms of this particular variety, this maple is upright, spreading, round-headed, obviously deciduous um, tree or shrub, and it's got deeply divided leaves. Um, the new growth on the leaves has a pink and white variegation, which you can see here. There's lots of new growth. It's bright pink. Um, and white and pink leaves with a deep dark green in the summer um, although they with this particular variety some leaves could be actually white or pink so this is one of my favorites and uh, one of the probably one of the most popular acer varieties but it's still actually quite rare uh, i say quite rare but i don't see many of these when i go around the garden centers looking for a new type of tree and actually I don't see many of them in um, in people's gardens either. They could be more popular than I think. Soil in here is just looks like normal soil but it's uh, a few weeds in there but it's it's damp it's been cared for i'm not sure what the roots are going to look like yet um the graft union it's okay um a little bit ugly but that will sort of come out as the trees get a bit bigger 
and then you've got this this variegation every single leaf is different um just move up the tree you've got a leaf here that's almost fully green um this one's got a little bit of speckle on and you've got leaves up here that are sort of variegated they're just it's just beautiful actually so um yeah these i don't normally buy stuff off the internet because like i said you, you don't know what you're going to get but i'm actually pleasantly surprised with this so i'm not going to touch these this year i'm just going to let them go dormant let the leaves do whatever they want to do and um, i should probably have a quick look at the roots um, in the spring and then get them potted up into containers that probably depending on the roots um, the root structure either the same I might take them out of this soil um, and give it give them a, a little bit more of a free draining soil um, but if the roots aren't um, mature I'll probably pop them up in a similar size pot because maples don't really need um, to be potted up into massive pots they like to go up in steps um, so yeah really really lovely tree and I'm quite happy about it um, yeah the more and more I, I look at this I, I just I, look how does that happen how does that happen Okay, I'm going to, um, th there's some bits and pieces here that I want to try and sort out before um, the winter where some of these branches probably just need a little bit of attention. Uh, I don't know if it's because they've been in a, a tube, um, but some of these need to be pulled out a little bit or pushed over to one side um, and set in place before the spring. Um, because some of them are crisscrossing and I don't want them to be so I'm going to um, I'm going to do a little bit of wiring and if you've not if you're not familiar with wiring then I'll show you on another video but I'm going to get them wired up because that's not um, exciting and um, I'll uh, I'll put them into shape and uh, quickly show you that and then that'll be it for this one so uh, bear with me a second Right, so I've got a little bit of um, a wire. Um, this is, I think this is um, one and a half mil, uh, maybe two mil wire. Um, and I've wired these up just to try and get a little bit of uh, shape into them. You can see it's very loose. I've not gone mad, so I don't really want to damage the, the branches or the trunk. Um, but I have put a bit of wire on. These two are really close together and all I, all I want to do is just move this to give it a little bit of structure. Hasn't been, you haven't got to go mad. Um, there's a little bit on the top here that I've wired up. Let's see if I can get that into focus um, that I've put here and there's, there's, there's two branches here that are very close together. And all I want to do is just manoeuvre them into place and make the plant just overall look um, look as nice as possible um, and give it a bit of spread. So, and the wire, that's what the wire does. Uh, but yeah, I've not gone mad on this. They're going to go dormant, aren't they? So I just don't want it cutting in, but I do want them to set in place so we get a nice... A nice shape to them and that's sort of a little bit more spread out it's not all close together um, the other one which I'll, uh, I'll bring in you can see here these two branches are very close together and I do want to separate them they go they're pretty close together all the way up so I want to separate them from the bottom here and just pull that out a little bit you can see there I've just moved it away these these two here were very close together so I've just pulled that apart and um, hopefully a little bit of uh, a bit of movement in the branches and um, I'll take that wire off in the spring 
and um, that's pretty much it that's all you got to do just um, don't go mad because they're not they're not going to grow this year not in the autumn as long as there's a little bit of spread and they've got a little bit of room um, that's pretty much it we'll have a look at the progress of these next uh, next year thanks very much cheers <laughs>